Hello everybody. Today I'm here with the brand new update to Dr. Mario World. Now we're gonna do uh, 10 uh, character openings and hopefully we can get a new doctor but uh, I didn't know the results of this and it's pretty frustrating honestly. Um, the, the doctor pulls go a little bit better and I'll show you the brand new character that I actually do get but uh, th these main ones here uh, it, it's assistance galore. I get one doctor, but uh, of course it's one I already got and one you've seen me collect already. And one I've been getting so many recently, even though in the past I'd never got a single one before. And I believe it is this next one here. Otherwise it's the one after this. And uh, let's see. Yep, we got another Dr. Mario. He's level 3. I hadn't gotten him until the last world came out. And now he's already level 3. That's how many that I've gotten of him. I'm sick of Dr. Mario. I don't use Dr. Mario. It is so frustrating to continue to get him after I've already gotten him so many times. But yeah, let's not be so negative. Let's be a bit more positive and see the brand new character that I'm about to unlock right here. And it is... Dr. Koopa Troopa. I was really hoping for Dr. Dolphin. Um, but this is like the first time ever that I've gotten a brand new character on the the day of the new update so i'm pretty happy about that uh if i'm not able to get dr dolphin hopefully he'll be the character available in the um what is it the the special stage for the end of the world but yeah i still need to get dr nabbit and he might not be in, in the next rotation of available doctors so I, I need to start um doing openings and hoping hoping to get uh, nab it before it's too late. But yeah, let's talk about this first level. Uh, and I did switch out my assistance to point boosting assistance. I didn't show that in the video, but I just did it on the the um, the green and red um, points boosters. So yeah, what you're gonna want to do is uh, clear out the 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 colored boxes so you can get to the viruses underneath and. Once you're able to get to the viruses, they'll, they'll kind of clear out th as they go. Um, the boxes aren't needed to complete the level, so if there are any extras that um, aren't necessary, you don't have to clear them, but I'm pretty sure you do have to because the keys have to get all the way to the bottom. And uh, I guess the left side doesn't have any keys on top, but you are going to need to um, clear out the, the, the both all oh, those green boxes over there because you need to gain access to the viruses underneath but the strategy that I use was I tried to go from the bottom up so uh, first I, I go to the middle because there's a lot of I'm getting a lot of red capsules and stuff that I don't necessarily need uh, for the for the outside but right in the middle they have those two viruses there and if I'm able to take them out at the same time then we just have that one red box over there that is left over that we can clear out in, in a future uh, in a future time. But yeah, another good strategy um, with the doors is that you can line up colors of the same ones. Like I have those two green ones under the key, and all you need to do is put another green one on top of that red one in the corner, and that will take out all of the all of the the things in your way and you can just move those over to the side and allow the keys to go down to the door but uh yeah now all i have left is to get those two last colored boxes and that other virus and as you saw there i took out that um that last green and then i was able to move all the the capsules on top of that over and now i'm just working on getting these colored boxes over here but yeah, th this level took me two tries, which I'm a little disappointed in myself about. But also, it was because of the assistance I brought in, they weren't necessarily helpful in, in beating this level. So definitely bring in the point uh, boosting assistance. So far, I've gone through half of the world in real time, and uh, I've used those assistants every time, and they've always been helpful. So I definitely suggest keeping those on your team. Um, the higher level ones are better, uh, and and the the colors are light blue, red, and green. 
So make sure to bring in the assistants that help with that. But yeah, you should be able to uh, complete this level pretty easily. I had plenty of capsules left over. Of course, I was using Wario for that. Next episode, we'll be doing Lakitu. And then the episode after that, we'll be doing Koopa Troopa. Uh, for those of you who want to see the, the new character in action. But I, I need to get to Lakitu first because he's left over from the special stage from the last update. And this is, uh, this is a, a, a pretty simple level, I would say. So the viruses are not necessary. Keep that in mind. You do not have to clear all of the, the viruses. All you're working on is the coins. Now the flasks only spawn in new bubbled viruses that can get in your way. But only a few spawn at a time and they're usually not too bad. That blue one was going to cause some problems, but I was able to get one more hit in on those greens before it landed. And I am able to clear those blues a little bit easier here uh, now that there are two on top of each other. But all you need to do is get to that red bomb next to the, the lock there. If you can see that, you need to... So what I do is I, I clear out the, the greens. Then that, that red one, the red bubble one, will go onto the bomb and you blow that up. It will take out the key. And then all you need to do is get the rest of the keys, or all the rest of the coins on top. And uh, the, that final crate on top of those, those shells, all you need to do is um, clear out that single crate and you gain access to the shells. Uh, so what I did here was... I won't do it immediately, but I, I I hit both of the viruses on top of that crate once, so that they won't fall with it um, when I clear out the that crate, and then the they will fall, or, or I mean they won't fall; they'll stay in place, and then I can hit the hit the shells with a single red. Definitely bring in Roy if you have him, and that'll be. Uh, a kind of recurring theme in, in the stages so far that it is very helpful to bring in in Roy for uh, I, I will mention in the future the characters you should be bringing in I didn't mention in the first level um, I guess what is his name Larry right that takes out the the colored boxes Larry is definitely a good one for that so yeah now that I have all of the coins on top um, out of the picture, I can work on this other side here. I got rid of the crate, and now I just use that single red there. And they get rid of all the coins at the bottom, so it's not necessary to um, get rid of any of the other crates. They will, all the coins will be taken care of as you, uh, as you get that final shell, that, or the final two shells down there. So yeah, that level's not too bad as long as you know the strategy to use. I was able to figure out the first round. Now this level, again, is a Roy level. Definitely use him. But listen to me right now. Do not hit the bombs. Okay, I hit the bombs right away with the red because I didn't know what else to do. But I immediately suspected that um, I should be working on the, the, the locks at the bottom. And you will see half of that. I do it with the green. But I mess up here and I hit the reds. And the, the bombs do absolutely nothing for me. I cleared them out, and they do not help me in any way. And that is not the way you want to go. You need to get rid of the locks first, before you hit the bombs. Um, and like I said, I do it with the green here. You'll see it in a second. I take out the key at the same time that the, the bombs start exploding. Right there. And they hit the, the crates uh, for a few hits of damage each. So a lot of them are already down to their, their final straw here. And Roy would um, be very helpful just because the viruses are so easy to clear out. Uh, and sometimes the, the crates even get in the way of that. But if you bring in Roy, uh, he'll start clearing out the crates a lot faster than you'd be able to. Uh, Wario is still viable, of course, if you have Wario. I don't think any other... Any other... Uh, doctor would be as helpful as those two. I can't even think of another doctor that I would want to bring in. Uh, I guess if you have n neither of those, try to go for Bowser or something. Maybe Luigi or Fire Luigi would be good. 
but yeah, the really those are the really only the two doctors that'll work out for this. Definitely bring those in if you have them. But yeah, after this, you get to just watch me uh, for about a few minutes, clear out some some crates here. I'm sure that's really entertaining for all of you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I was almost gonna restart this one just because I knew I messed up as soon as I started hitting those bombs. But I wanted to see if it would be possible to do it even if you messed up. I don't think it would be possible if you messed up both of them. But with one side and bringing Wario, it was clearable. Like I said, I would never suggest doing it this way. But uh, I guess it worked out. So here I use the red there so that I can... Um, use the greens towards the ones at the bottom since there are a good amount left. But I also want to use as many as I can and still ta are taking out the the crates that are left over. And yeah, see, the, the nice thing about having so many crates is they force you to use a lot of your points. So you're definitely going to get three stars, especially if you bring in the point boosting assistance. Um, but I assume even if you hit them with the exploders that you'll get a lot of points from that as well, and you'll have a lot more capsules left over. So either way, you are destined to get three stars. I can't imagine someone not getting three stars and being this level, so it should be all right, as long as you're able to clear it. So that was the strategy there. Of course, it just came down to getting rid of the rest of the, the crates that are left over. And the viruses kind of just help out with that. Uh, always use the colors when able to to clear out the viruses now this one i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what a good strategy for this would be uh the level wants you to hit those bubblers and bring the the matching colors down next to each other but i don't do a lot of that of course it has to happen because you have to get to those lower levels but if you're able to bubble a lot of stuff everything will start to line up and you won't have to bubble anything else because everything will be at the bottom away from the bubble machines so what i did was i i just started clearing the top and eventually i do clear out that blue line just because uh there isn't a a block blocking it but that that isn't necessarily a, a good strategy i guess i mean like i said they're all up in a row there so there isn't really point not doing it but i also wasted four capsules there just lining it up but in the future um, when those reds fall i do end up using all those capsules anyways so they didn't really go to waste but anyways now that i'm at the top i'm just making sure to get rid of the viruses as the uh, electric box underneath is available to be cleared and just make sure you do that because then you'll be wasting another three capsules or so just um, getting rid of that electric box. But yeah, once you do that, you're forced to uh, interact with the bubblers a few times, and they will start bringing some down. As you, Like I said right there, I was able to still use those red capsules on the side to take out that final red, um, that red one that was bubbled down there. And I don't know if that was a good strategy either because those red ones might fall any second. And they would have lined up with it, making it uh, a lot easier to use less capsules to do so. But that's alright. Uh, now that I have that one section away from the, the bubble machines, I can start bringing some blues without um, being worried that anything else will be bubbled. But the, the way it lined up for me, like it's a random chance how it's going to line up uh, once things are bubbled. Like you don't know what's going to be um, captured or like with that. But the way it lined up for me, it actually worked out pretty well. And it might not look like it's lined up very well. But when I'm able to get the greens and the blues down there, um, those two reds are next to each other. And then I just need a few more reds and greens to clear out those two bubbled viruses at the bottom. And now don't forget that you might have some towards the top, like those two red ones that I have. But I can build up a tower to that with those two blue ones on the side that I never cleared out earlier. I can just use that towards... I'm getting up there, and uh, with Wario, I had plenty of plenty of capsules left. 
but I don't know how well it would work with other characters. And I'm not sure who to suggest bringing in. And there are a lot of bubble ones. Of course, Bowser Jr. might be good. Um, there are a lot of them close to each other, so maybe Bowser would be good to get a, his skill early on. Maybe if you use one of the assistants to get a skill early, you could use that to get rid of a good amount of them right in the middle. Uh, that, that sounds like a pretty good strategy, actually, like with a dry Bowser. Um, if you have him and Wario or something isn't working out for you, uh, you could always try dry Bowser or something. But yeah, we're going into the last stage of this video here. And this one took me a few tries, I believe. Maybe just two. Uh, and I'm not able to see, uh, while doing this commentary, the very top of the stage. But I believe it's just the two keys in the barrels that you have to hit once. And then there is a, a red exploder down there that you, you can hit, as well as the blue lock there you have to work on as well. I would suggest doing the blue lock first because then you're able to get more with the exploder once the things are unlocked. And the red should only take one uh, to hit, only one capsule. But maybe that doesn't work out every time, so I'd be careful. But yeah, that shell also hits the other side, so don't clear out too much because the shell can do the work for you. Now what I tried to do is avoid the fans for as long as I could, and eventually I do have to use it to um, get some ice on some things, but I believe it ends up working out pretty well. I got lucky with the placement of the the ice sometimes, and I'll talk about that I guess when we get there. Uh, Roy I guess would be another good one to bring in just because there are a lot of crates there, and you will eventually need to get in there to get those those uh, doors open so the key or yeah the keys will go into them. But you also have to clear out all the viruses which means you will eventually have to hit the fans a little bit. But uh, I would definitely suggest doing that uh, as late as possible in, in your run. Try to get rid of as many viruses uh, away from the fans as possible. Like you can see here, I, I get rid of that blue one there so that, because that fan isn't uh, activated yet. So it won't actually cause anything to freeze. But eventually I will be taking out that, uh, that blue one there. And I also do that red one, which did cause some problems. But as you'll see here in a second, like I have nothing else I can do. I kind of just have to hit that blue one. But it does go towards the green, which is very helpful. But then I make the mistake of doing that with the red, and it does do that again. But luckily, uh, I get plenty of greens and everything. And all I have left is to use the extra capsules with the red and uh, blues to hit the final door. So I had plenty of capsules left and everything. It wasn't a big deal. But the, the first time around, I didn't do so well. And I don't remember exactly what I did wrong, but there were a lot of mess ups and a lot of ice, I think, that got in my way. So I always just try to avoid the fans until um, absolutely necessary. Like I said, it worked out for me, but it might not go as well for you if things aren't lined up correctly. But yeah, all those greens were lined up and I was able to get those. So yeah, that's the end of these levels. Like I said, Lakitu will be next. And yeah, thank you for watching this one. Uh, let me know if you had any problems with these levels, need any help or anything. And, and I'll see you soon for the next uh, video. I already have it ready. So thank you and goodbye.